Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error. That is an unreal process has crashed UESHF GPU crash dump triggered. So if you are receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. Select your graphic card over here and then select your operating system. Then click on find. And on this page, you will see the latest graphic card driver. Scroll down, whichever is the latest GeForce game re ready driver, click on view and then download. And then once the download is complete, you can run this exe file and then click on yes to allow, then click on OK, click on agree and continue. Set a custom option, click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Click on next. After the clean installation is done, restart the computer and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to Try DX12 or DX11 in the launch option. So make a right click on the game, go to properties. In the launch option, type in dash DX12 over here. Now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work. This time you can type in dash DX11 over here. Launch the game and then check. Still not working. Remove this. Follow the next step. Now the next step is to laptop users with dual graphic card. Make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box, click on graphic settings and then click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder so in my case the game is installed in this location so wherever the game is installed select the game exe file click on add once the game is added click on scroll down find the game in the list once you find the game click on the game select high performance you will see your graphic card and then check if that does not work again go to add desktop app open shf folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on add Again, scroll down and click on the game. And over here, again, select high performance. You will see your graphic card. Now you can launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to roll back graphics driver. So if the latest graphic card driver is not working, in that case, you can, when you select the graphic card and operating system, on this page, you can click on view more version. And you can try to install this one. That is 580.88. This has worked for a few players, so it might work for you. So you can try this, uh, you can download it, view, download again. Once the download is complete, run the exe file. But when you go for installation, make sure that you select custom option. And then you can put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation, then restart it completely. And then launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to rename or delete the config folder. Now for this open file explorer, when you delete the config folder, all the saved settings will be lost. So go to this PC, open C drive users username app data if you don't see at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder local folder sh folder saved folder and over here you will see the config folder in my case i've already re renamed it so in your case will be it will be only config you can rename this folder and then you can relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. So instead of launching the game from Steam, make a right click on the game, manage, browse local files, go to the game installation folder and then open SHF folder, binaries, Win64, and then make a double click, launch the game from here. If that does not work, go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working. This time you can select Windows 8 over here and then hit apply, click on OK. If that does not work, you can even try Windows 7 over here, hit apply. Put a check on disable full screen optimization. You can try this, apply, OK, and then launch the game. When you put a check on all these boxes, still not working. In that case, you can uncheck these boxes over here. And then hit apply, click on OK. Go back, again back, again back. Make a right click on this exe file, click on run as administrator, and then check. Still not working. The next step is to Allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you're using Windows security, go to privacy and security, Windows security, and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add and allow app, browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. Select this exe file from this location. Select the exe file and then click on open. Add and allow app, browse all apps, and then go back. Uh, select the Select this exe file again. You select the second exe file, select everything. And do the same thing in Windows Firewall. So open Control Panel, 
and then system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or features through windows defender firewall click on change settings click on allow another app click on browse again do the same thing add all the exe file which i have added to the windows security do the same thing once added launch the game next step is to verify the game files now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game go to properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is done launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser this is not a link you can search in google install visual c++ file and then you can go to microsoft website go to the official website scroll down here you can see visual studio file you have to download this x86 and x64 install both the files so click on it and then run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file as well so run this exe file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure both are installed once install restart it will and after the system restart you can launch the game still not working the next step is to you can skip this step if you are not able to like go into the game settings but if you are able to go to the game settings you can try to switch to window mode lower down uh, graphics settings and you can lock the fps at 60 yeah. so launch the game now once you launch the game you can go to options go to graphics you can try window mode over here so if this is set to full screen uh, you can switch to window mode and then you can lower down resolution if this is set to 4k try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more set the fps at 60 and then for preset if this is set to like uh, you can try you can try balanced for me balance is working fine you can try balance or perform performance quality you can check one by one and check which one is working fine for you and then scroll down here you can see indirect lighting now if this is set to lumen high uh, like epic then you can set it to high you can even turn it off and then you can check the performance now the next step is to increase the virtual memory to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here and then under advanced click on settings the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here you have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size and we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total ram for maximum is 3 multiplied total ram so you can check total ram in windows settings go to system and then go to about option and over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes so you have to calculate as per your ram and if you face any problem we can always revert back to the settings so do not worry about it so for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024 that is total total ram in megabyte for initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 for maximum size it's total ram that is 16 multiplied 1024 in my case 16 384 me megabyte then three times multiplied three that is for maximum size it's 49152 in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that you hit set and then click on ok and then ok ok now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in view advanced system settings again and then click on view advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on ok click on ok over here hit apply click on ok ok you will see restart option restart computer and then check still not working we will revert to default so you can type in view advanced system settings once again settings advance change and put a check on this box and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step 
Now the next step is to try power server mode. Now for this type in control panel in window search box and then go to control panel and then go to hardware and song and then go to power options. In my case, I have only balanced. In your case, if you see power saver, you can select power saver and then check. You can even try balanced or high performance. Check which one is working fine for you. But first of all, try power saver and then you can launch the game. Next step is to you can try launching the game from NVIDIA app. So you can open NVIDIA app and then you can go to home and then you will see the game over here. Click on play. Try to launch the game from here. If that does not work, you can even go to settings and select Silent Hill F over here. And over here, if you see optimize option like this, over here, you, you if you see optimize option like this, you can optimize it and then check. Now, if the game is already optimized, in that case, you can revert revert, uh, revert the optimization. And then once you revert the optimization, close NVIDIA app. Make sure that it is closed from here as well. And then check update windows to the latest version for this go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer after the system restart you can check next is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the bios now the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using so if you have OTAS, wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected disconnect additional controller connected to the computer disable or enable the steam overlay now for this you can make a right click on the game select properties if enable steam overlay if this is on you can turn it off and then check if this is already off you can turn it on and then check if you have any other overlay application like discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay go to nvidia app settings and turn off nvidia overlay do not overclock. You can set it to default. Close all the overclocking application, like if you have MSI Afterburner, Riva Tuner, any kind of third party application or services running on your computer, close it. If, if you're undervolted, you can be able to remove the undervolt. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, uninstall the game and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.